There is a family channel on YouTube called The Ace Family, and they are currently going through a divorce. That's all you really need to know to be caught up to this. And the dad allegedly cheated on the wife a lot of times. But the weird thing about this isn't divorce. That's actually quite common. It's the fact that he's got his kids together now that he's, you know, looking after them for the weekend, I guess. And he's played them a song where he's like begging for their mum to take him back. And it's the weirdest thing I might have ever seen. I hope all of those family videos are going to pay for the therapy they're gonna have to go through because he also filmed this interaction and posted it on Snapchat. It's um giving God my dad's unbearable narcissist psychopath. <laughs> I hope you guys don't have parents like this. If you do, then subscribe. Um, not because I can help with that, but because it will make me feel better. Good luck. Okay, let's watch this. <laughs> okay, this is weird. All right, girls, so before I drop you off at school, I want you guys to listen to Daddy's new song, okay? You guys tell me what you think. Okay, be honest, okay? Tell me if you like it or not. Okay. It's tough for me. Still healing, but uh, I want to make a song. I just don't know how to put it into words. And Dee Dee, I need your help, man. I wrote something. I need you to freestyle for me. Okay, number one, um, repositioning the camera so he could get his kids in shot. Who one of them seems too young to understand what's going on. The other one is probably at the age where they know what's happening, and they look like they hate him. And to be fair, if instead of my dad not cheating on my mum. He decided to make a song in the studio instead. I would also hate him too, because what kind of behavior is that? Also to like humiliate your kids on the internet, that's not gonna be good for them. Okay, you're a millionaire and you can buy them whatever they want, but do you think they're going to thank you for this in the future? Do you think they're gonna go, oh, thank you dad for uh, making our entire lives a big uh, public mess. Love you. We're definitely putting you in the worst care home possible. I miss you. In this RV, we together for eight years. We don't even speak. He's in an RV, apparently. Or is he sleeping in the RV? I mean, Austin, you're meant to be like a multi millionaire. I, I, I've, I'm sure he owns multiple houses. You know, I mean, that house was so big that he probably could have lived like on the other side of it and they wouldn't run into each other. He could have just been bringing girls back constantly and she wouldn't even know about it. You know that I miss you, I've been watching you right through the tree. You know that I miss you, I'd be watching you right through the tree. Um, I'm just gonna say this, Austin. I don't think saying that you've been stalking and spying your wife is going to get her back. I think she might call for a restraining order or at least tell you to delete Snapchat, which is crazy that you have that at your age. I don't care if it's for making money, delete it. Missing the kids lately. I've been living alone. The RV that I got nice, but sometimes I just wanna be home. And then let me got cold nights. I'll be shivering down to my bones. But you still my ace, girl. Would you still my ace? Oh my god, it's it's disgusting, isn't it? It's it's actually just like makes you feel sick. It's wrong on so many levels. Like what you're still my ace, girl, and he's there just like Anybody who's like bopping along with their own song, it's just cringe if the song is shit. It's not a good thing. No, it doesn't look good. Okay, so I would suggest maybe not posting a video like this. All right. Those kids look like they are going to really hate the time that they spend in custody with him. They are hoping that they never have to see him again. And it is written all over their faces. They do not want any part of this. And I can't blame them. I would be like, please get off Snapchat and can you take us to McDonald's? That's what you said we were going to do today. This is the only time we get to spend together before mum gets us back. And you are playing us your shitty SoundCloud song. You're an embarrassment. Should we just let him stay up? At the window trying to check on my baby. I can act like I'm okay when I'm faking. I don't know if I can handle you dating. It's been a month, I don't know if I make it. I got lost when I was going to class. They making fun of me, I'm going outside. You and all the kids is all that I had. I was a husband, now I'm only your dad. I've been missing the kids lately. What do you guys think? Like it?
Hey, what do you think, Lele? Like it. You like it too? Okay, okay, my daughters approve. Okay. They don't look like they approve, you freak. Don't film them. Why don't you put more time into like, I don't know, fixing your marriage if you care about it so much to make a song about it instead of making the bloody song. I think if it gets to the point where you're rapping, then it's gone too far. And then to try and like do this as like a, I don't know, like a weird play. You know, could you imagine being the wife seeing that? You would be embarrassed. You would be ashamed. And you'd be like, I can't believe that I spent any time with this man. This is insane. And it gets weirder because he uploaded like another video to his Snapchat where he made like a music video. He's titled the song Still My Ace because they were called the Ace family but like that's not true because I guess you could go with the metaphor that he was also playing with loads of other cards but you're still the ace ignore the fact that I've got loads of fives and fours you're my ace love, love you. you oh man it's tough for me what are those fucking shoes by the way like what are they what are the shoes and is he actually living in an RV this has just got actually even more pathetic I don't understand man this is tough for me I'm still healing but uh I want to make a song. I just don't know how to put it into words. And Dee Dee, I need your help, man. I wrote something and I need you to freestyle it for me. I miss you. Who is that bloke? Who is that guy? Who's that guy that you've roped into this? Who is this man? Was he sharing your wife? I don't understand. I don't understand the dynamic. This is the weirdest thing ever made. I love you. I've been in this RV. No heat. Together for eight years, we don't even speak. You know that I miss you. I'll be watching you right through the tree. I've been missing the kids lately. Wait, he didn't even sing the song. It was just this other bloke. It was this other bloke who sang the song. This gets even worse. He paid a guy to sing a song for his wife. Did he use Fiverr? Was it like, what, like a cameo? The thing is, I thought that like, this was maybe some form of joke, but then I was scrolling through TikTok and I keep on getting these like weird videos that Austin has posted, like, I guess onto his Snapchat page where he's just having like this weird breakdown. Um, so I like to watch some of these strange clips that he's posted on his Snapchat, because it really doesn't quite tell the full story just from that insane song that he showed his kids. Look at this biker gang right here. What up, bros? What up, bros? What up, gang? What up, gang? Hey, guys, you can't make me late to my bus. My bus is coming. Hey, say what's up, say what's up. What up, guys? We outside! What up, what up, what Why is Austin McBroom getting on the back of a kid's bike? What is going on? This is the strangest thing I've seen a YouTuber. Well, it's not the strangest thing I've seen a YouTuber do. They they go further. To be let's let's just actually I just checked myself there. Let's just take that back a bit. Not the weird. It's one of the weird things YouTubers have done. What is he doing? Like if you were friends with him, like if you knew this guy, wouldn't you like check in on him and be like. Austin, please stop getting on the back of kids' bikes. It's not a good look, especially for the divorce. The lawyer might see this and um, they might use this against you. Okay, so can somebody please explain to me why everybody and their mom is tagging me, commenting, telling me to watch your brother's Snapchat yesterday. Watch and react to his... What does that even mean? So I guess that's Austin's brother, like watching his brother's Snapchat and seeing him getting on the back of a kid's bike and he's like disappointed, I'd assume. I mean, yeah, you would be. You would be disappointed. You'd be upset. You'd be like, what the hell is going on here? Um, is he going to go? I hope he goes and checks out on him. He needs to stop him from getting on the back of kid's bikes. Like yesterday. Ready. Ready. What the f? Brody. There's blankets on the floor. Bro. Why is it? There's cleaning stuff in here? Bro. So I guess they're like feigning a breakdown so that they could like make money off of Snapchat because you can make a lot of money off of Snapchat. So him and his brother in on it and they're trying to make it look like he's going crazy, get people to share the stories around and then you get paid a lot of money through that. But like at what cost? Like you actually do have kids and like these videos go to the internet forever and just going, 
Oh yeah, well it was like it was a bit. I like it, it was a bit. What what was breaking up with your wife? Is that a bit? Is that like a joke? I don't know. So apparently his wife has seen this and she posted like a response on Snapchat. Somebody said, I absolutely adore you, so I hate to ask the dreadful question, but Austin making songs about the situation and making clickbait out of it, how does that affect you? She said, I'm grateful to be evolved because his behavior and coping mechanism is beyond me. Fair enough. He tells me he's doing well though, so I trust that. But as for the song, I laughed and Loki has a little ring to it. Okay. Okay, so she's, I guess, playing into it as well. Because I, I guess that's how they make all their money. Like, all of them, they have to be relevant and involved in stuff to be able to, like, make money. I mean, that's the game, isn't it, in LA? You just have to be, like, insane and people pay attention to you. Like, you try and have a happy family, that fails. Let's go for the insane family. That's That should be the nickname of every family channel. Not the Ace Family, the Insane Family. I really hate these channels so much and have done videos on the Ace Family over and over and over again because the guy is really strange. Um, like, look at this. Austin McBroom on Neighborhood Watchler after parking RV behind ex-wife's home. So it comes across, to be honest, that maybe this might just not be completely real or maybe it's partly fake or maybe he's like using this as an opportunity to get more attention on him which is psychopathic behavior regardless whatever the true story behind this is it's just odd because your actual kids are involved in this content so ignoring whether it's a bit or it's organized putting the kids at the center of this is like so, so strange and i really hate youtube channels that like film their children um, or make them a part of the content make them famous because like that's no way to grow up i can't imagine being a kid trying to grow up in a family where you can't really tell what's real and what's fake and what arguments were real and what weren't and also having everybody you know be completely aware of everything that's going on and like being like going to school and people going oh how's your dad in the rv like what would that be like absolutely terrible i would guess yeah i mean i've never been a fan of the ace family i really don't like austin mcbroom it's um it's very strange like look at these snapchat stories that he's posted that like you know a ticket and a violation thing but that looks like it was printed out on paper it doesn't look real i got kicked out it's like done to be like a snapchat thumbnail like I, I, it's what david dobrik's done he's moved all of his content over to snapchat and all people have to do is click on it share it to their friends and they make money but it's like pathetic this is very sad behavior up this morning um and I had a good ass night even though it was a little cold woke up this morning to a damn ticket I can take it literally at 7 13 they left this fucking ticket on my windshield saying that Neighborhood watch alert. This area is for residents only, even though I used to live there. You are not a resident of this neighborhood. You may not leave your park vehicle on the street for more than 72 hours. Has it been 72 hours? I don't even know, but. So he used to live in like a gated community in LA, like loads of other fucking millionaires would live there, like him. I guess somebody in the neighborhood watch has basically been like, if you're divorced from your wife and you don't own the property anymore, then you need to get out. And he's upset about that. That might be real. Maybe the neighborhood watch have come to get Austin McBroom, which is understandable. Um, apparently he said, People do not want me to be close to my kids. Yeah, I wonder why. They've seen your Snapchat story. You look like a mental case. Guys, here's just a little update regarding my living situation. Unfortunately, I was unable to move into the home that I really, really wanted. And you guys know how much that meant to me because I get to be as close as I can be to my kids. But I did figure out another solution that is just temporary. But it's as best as I can do for now. And I'm happy with it. And... As long as they're happy and I'm happy, that's all that matters. So this is what I did. I was able to get this new motorhome. No wonder they tried to kick him out of the neighborhood. They could probably hear him making that god awful song in the RV and somebody was like, we need to remove it. We need to get this man away from here as soon as possible. And so I'll be living here, temporary, and they're right here. So I still get to be super close to my kids because they're literally, you know, right across the street from me. So just a little update for you guys. I'm being Z with me. That's really weird. Like joke or not, this is strange to be like playing off like you're some obsessive stalker weirdo. Because either that's fake or it's true. And I can't tell. I'm not gonna lie. I'm stumped by this. Everything in me says that it is 
done for attention. But then a part of me is like, these people are so strange and elements of it are probably real. And that worries me even more that the lines have been blurred so badly, but it's just an opportunity to make clickbait content. What is wrong with America? Well, thank you guys for watching this video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you're new. I will see you guys in a new video soon. I'm gonna go uh, stay in my RV outside and make some bangers. So check that out on all streaming platforms soon. I miss my kids. <laughs>